Oh, it's coming straight for me. Or die, essentially. Those are the options. This is the hardest thing I've ever done in my entire life. It's absolutely exhausting. Conserving our water, so we haven't had our oats this morning. Instead, we're just having a few of these like Jordan sort of cake things. We've got like a date puff. 19, 18k to go, something like that. So we really are officially now on the trail into Petra. And yeah, already epic views this morning. So yeah, that's the plan. So here we have two different types of sandstone. So DC sandstone is the newer sandstone. And it's this kind of light colored pale gray sandstone that you see on the upper layers. So you can see it on the tops here. It erodes to create these dome like structures. And then what we have are the much older, deeper red um ishram sandstones comprised of iron hydroxides and magnesium oxides. Because sandstone can be various different colors depending on uh, what composition it's made out of. Uh, and that's what creates these stones that we saw yesterday as well, with the elaborate patterns. And this red rock is uh, half a billion years old. Um, and it was from a time when there wouldn't have been much life on Earth, there wouldn't have been much many trees. And we wouldn't be able to see it if it wasn't for the fact that the plate tectonics of this area have forced it up out of the lighter coloured um, DC sandstone to expose that deep red sandstone for which Petra has obviously become very famous and known as, by some, the Rose City. And you'll learn more about Johan tomorrow, that Swiss explorer who rediscovered Petra for the West at least a couple hundred years ago in the 1800s. And he would have walked some of these very trails as we head on into Petra. We've just caught glimpses of swimming pool in this um, luxury camping place. They've got air con on each room. So if you're a millionaire and you happen to watch these videos, you can do this here in Petra. I said millionaire because you'd have to be a millionaire in my mind to spend that kind of money on things like that. Because if I was a millionaire, I wouldn't be spending money on fancy hotels. I'd just be doing more stuff like this. <laughs> Stay in a luxury hotel sometimes maybe. But also, get out here and live it, people. Do you like that, Amy? It's my like, life advice. This shepherd up the top of this mountain. As we're walking past, it's like, hey, do you want anything? We're like, no, no, we're all good, mate. Then he's like, see those sheep over there? I'm like, yeah. He says, you go there and come back here. I'm like, come backy, come backy. He's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You pick up a stone, you throw. So he, wa I was like, you want me to bring them back? He's like, yeah. I was like, okay. So what, as if it isn't bad enough. <laughs> we can't complain. Obviously the Jordanians have been so hospitable to us, but now I'm somehow involved in rounding up, <laughs> rounding up a shepherd's sheep in the searing heat at one o'clock in the afternoon, the hottest time of day. <laughs> I'm doing a thing, Amy. I'm actually doing a thing. Did you see that? I got what I could. He was calling them at the other end as I was shepherding them. 
That was so much extra energy and mm. wasted water. Mm. <laughs> he said thank you. Did you hear him shouting thank you? Mm. I did a thing. Did you see that one I threw and it hit? <laughs> like the first stone I threw, I didn't mean to hit it. It just hit it straight in the side. <laughs> it made a right thud. I was trying to hit around them to scare them. But like my first stone just smacked it in the side. Whoops. It wasn't the biggest stone, I'm sure it'll be fine. But I've done it a few times on my uncle's farm. Maybe you saw it in my eyes, Amy. You saw the glint in my eyes and was like, that there is a shepherd. I don't know. Am I just nattering onto myself here? Down that cliff, basically. It's in the sand plain, but it's so porous, so it's really gritty. The porous rock? Yeah. Oh, don't scrape your butt on those scabs that are already there. Um, yeah. It doesn't look like I'm that bad, like, even on camera, like they're like, it's, it's not a big deal, but it's just, after you've already done, you know, 17k, or walk to country. You wouldn't realize, like my hips are really bruised right now, so when my bag moves around here, it hurts. Yeah. <laughs> We're just a bit dubious about the fact there's a huge 30 foot drop right there. And if we slide off this, we shall have a bad day, to say the least. Oh well, let's just get on with it. <laughs> this is not going to be the best recording ever in the world. Because I don't want to, I don't want to fall down there. I'm going to bring you on this perilous journey, but if I'm going to drop you, um, yeah, there'll be a gap before the next YouTube video. Put it that way. I'm kind of scared. Just don't fall. Help. Please be careful. Please be careful. Take it really slow, that's it. That was what? That was a little bit perilous actually. <laughs> that, that bit over there is really sloped that you have to walk I'm on. I'm not that scared of heights. I don't know if I caught I'm it. scared of that because if something happens then you're stuck. It's like that height where you're like, it's just high enough that you'd yeah. live, but you'd definitely break your legs. Yeah, I think I kind of got that on camera to be honest, because you could see your little ankles were like it. Bloody perpendicular to your body. <laughs> My mum's gonna have an absolute sh fit when she sees that I recorded that. <laughs> like, why are you recording it on the edge of cliffs? It, it, it's being silly. I love your mum's voice. <laughs> yeah. From Nabataean? Yeah, Nabataean. This lady's found Nabataean coins. From. Wow. Because she's a shepherd in the area. Wow. Very cool. She's just collected See? them from around here. See my damn hair? Oh, yeah. yeah. Wow. Relic. Ah. Relics, See. antiques. Antique, no business here. Nabataean. <laughs> wow. See. The horse. Yeah. The horse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. That's amazing. Ah. Wow. Unsurprisingly, she then tried to flog them to us for 10 JD a coin. And we said, oh no, we don't have any money. But of course, I wouldn't ever buy those because they belong in a museum. I sound like Indiana Jones. That belongs in a museum. So do you. As she called them relics from 2000 years ago. What right have I got to keep those in a drawer? Salam. It's another beautiful spot for this uh, grazing this guy's doing down here. They've got quite a little spot. I'm going to do the same thing, Amy. I'm a shepherd. <laughs> they didn't quite have the same reaction. Hmm. Uh. They're not as interested in me doing it. I don't quite have the Jordanian shepherd skills. But after today, if this continues, honestly, maybe after this video, you'll have to come find me somewhere in one of the hills out here. I'll continue to grow my bushy beard and live among the, live among the goats. <laughs> I 
one down there with the goats. And now we're coming up the steps. Thank you. <laughs> what, what is it down there? Uh, flash flooding. Wolves, scorpion. Camels. Oh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Thank you so much. No Coffee, tea, juice, beer, 2JD. Beer? Oh my god. This is a really, really weird experience. We might end up camping maybe down here if this is too busy. A little pussy cat. <laughs> Big fan, but oh, I'm not very good with cats. I'm not a cat person. I like cats, but cats don't like me. I feel like there's something about me they just don't like. I'm just I'm slightly shifty. <laughs> this is a very strange experience. Here comes uh, Jack Sparrow. How are you? Good, yes. sir. Enjoying a much deserved Coke. There's something really weird about turning up here. We're at a reggae bar now. <laughs> Just literally straight off the path with the goats down there. So Amy said it's like restaurant at the end of the universe from Hitchhiker's Guide. <laughs> it's really strange. <laughs> kind of like it though, don't you? Yeah. I know it's really touristy, but it's quite welcome. It's, yeah, it's very welcome. <laughs> and he's obviously making an extension in there. It's extending the place. <laughs> Business is good. <laughs> <laughs> That's where we came from. Have fun. <laughs> this is pretty cool, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> when they said it was like a back entrance to Petra, I was not expecting it to be quite this much of a back entrance, <laughs> squeezing through rocks. I mean, we've still got a few kilometers to go tomorrow, haven't we? Came from up there, it's very weird to see. Little cheap tourist oh, shops. <laughs> it's quite strange, really, to see thousand year old ruins being used to sell scarves to tourists. Not something you see every day. Starting to see some Petra RV stuff. Mm. Our first Nabataean structure that we've seen. So cool. This is gonna be sick. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Like, what was it tomorrow? We got 13k to I've actual. Have you seen like all the little staircases up the mountains? Yeah. And I don't know how old they are, but it's quite pretty. That it was must amazing. Be a whole network inside. Now we're walking through the car park. The bus is behind us. We're getting a lot of funny looks because all the tourists are arriving here in their fresh chinos, <laughs> iron Again, shirts. smelling clean. <laughs> smelling clean. It's so weird, you can actually smell their aftershave. It's a really weird thing. When a group of them walks past, we can smell them. Just walking up into the hills here to camp above, you know, the place they've just arrived in from their hotels. It's a really bizarre feeling. It's almost like we're seeing backstage in a way. Yeah. Do you get that sense? I get what you mean. We want to kind of find a slightly quieter place uh, to camp, so out of sight because there's a lot of kind of people around. I don't want to get some guy coming up to me if we camp here and be like, oh, you need to give us 20 JD to camp here. So we'll just get out of sight. So that was the Amarin camp over there. It's obviously a paid for glamping thing. We're being sneaky. And we're gonna sneak up this canyon over there. There's camels over there, eh? Which is pretty cool. You see the camels? It, where that cliff is there is where those buses were, so they're miles away. And that campsite as well, the fancy glamping one is over there. So we're going to camp just under this tree where there's a bit of shade. There's no lo like loose rocks in these ones. So there's no risk of us getting like hit by a boulder or anything. We are technically in the ravine. So if it did rain, it's possible this area could flash flood. But there was a channel here, as you can see. So I think it would have to like really, really rain for us to get in trouble. But we can easily scale one of these rocks up a bit if we had to quickly abandon. But I think that's very unlikely it's gonna happen. Really nice little spot. And it's tempting to just sort of poke our head around there and just see if there's anyone there. But you don't wanna do that because we arrived here hours ago. So no one will nowhere here unless they come looking so if we poke our head around people might see us and then they'll know we're here so 
best to just keep a very low profile. I'm gonna go to bed now, even though it's light. Probably get up at like 4 a.m. It's, it's seven now. <laughs> Should see some proper cool stuff tomorrow. Five in the morning. Um, we just put everything away. Uh, we're going to down some porridge. We're using the red lights so that it doesn't affect our night vision. We know that there are three camels wandering around. <laughs> but we don't know where they are. Um, it's still absolutely pitch black. I still see all the stars. Um, there's actually a slight whistling noise in some of the canyons because of a spooky feel like the Nabataeans are still here somehow. I don't know. So, final camp check. Nothing left behind. The camels are right by the barbed wire fence. We have to get under to get out. There's three of them. We're going to be really quiet. Try and go around them. It's just sod's law that they would be literally right where we need to go. They're all looking at us, what's over them? Amy, I think you should crawl on your hands and knees to get out quickly. This doesn't look as close on the camera as it is, but it's about 10 meters. Amy, you go first. Stand up so I ran away. That was like literally. That's very close. Is that like five meters? Very close. <laughs> that was very close, wasn't it? <laughs> I don't, we don't know if they're bulls, so I don't know how aggressive they are. Anyway, onwards. Oh, that's quite close. Yeah, that's quite close. Yeah, it's quite close. Amy reckons they all look like mouths, and they're all going like. Oh. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> this one down here is like. <laughs> Okay, we might be deliriously tired. <laughs> Petra can't, Petra's not on a hill, is it? Like. Like every picture I've ever seen of it is in a canyon, so <laughs> it's got to be down, right? Oh, how wrong I was. <laughs> the guy down there like offered to give us a, like a lift up on his donkey. Then he's like, ooh, it's three and a half hours to Petra. And I was like, Amy, it's 6K. <laughs> it's like, don't lie to me, come on now. <laughs> don't lie to me. It's not three and a half K, three and a half we hours. We walked a long way. We're not going to get a donkey to Petra on no, the last yeah, day. Exactly. We've got here early, like really early. We haven't seen a single tourist. We're just walking along this path. Amy's just like, oh my God, I see it. And I was like, what on earth are you talking about? It's the monastery. It's peeking around that corner is the monastery. <laughs> Our first Nabataean. Sorry. You're, you're ecstatic. <laughs> You can see someone standing in the doorway over there. They're absolutely tiny. Walked a long way and finally got to see a proper Nabataean archaeological site. 450 kilometers that's worth every kilometer. Maybe 10 stories high. It's absolutely huge. 
it's hard to look at it and know how big it is until someone stands next to it. And then when someone stands next to it, you're like, geez, it's big. You can still see the natural veins in the rock. And it's awesome as well that right next to it, you can see exactly what it was made out of. I can't believe it. From a time in Earth when there wasn't really significant life on Earth, erupted out of the, out of the, uh, you know, other layers of stone. It was carved into this beautiful thing. It's something really magical and quite poetic about that process. It being uncovered after millions of years and then humanity turned it into a piece of art. I'm very wary of these guys. No, 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 no. We, we know what you're like. I know you're friendly, but... You're friendly, but we've met your mates and they're not friendly. I think we should make our way to Petra. Oh, he is kind of cute. He is cute, but don't, <laughs> don't pet him. And these stairs are probably like original, so they've just been worn away by people walking over them and by sand and wind at the time. They just leave all their like um, garments that they're selling just on show. Obviously, overnight. You can see up in the distance there, there's some tombs and whatnot. It's funny, I was just saying, like, there are no tourists. Suddenly, literally, within a couple of minutes, they've just all arrived in their droves. So, presumably, the gates have been opened somewhere or other. Me and Amy are not fans of the use of these donkeys. Essentially just a tourist up the hill because they're too lazy to carry themselves. Like this, we'll use our own legs. So these poor animals are going up and down hills, up and down these stone steps all day. I feel really sorry for them. I don't understand why tourists don't think it through. Like obviously then, that's not a nice life. But it's like, I don't know how well they're treated like by the owners, but at the very least, like, they look pretty tired climbing up and down these things, don't they? Yeah. Do you see how sunken that one's head was? It looks like really hard work. I feel very really sorry for them. Uh-oh. Oh, God. <laughs> Fresh one on the steps. I kind of get it if like the locals are kind of getting up to the shops on them, but I uh, want the tourists riding them. There's just no excuse, is there? Mm. <laughs> it's weird when you walk past one that's not got a person with it. And it's just like on his way. <laughs> See you later. We're not actually going through the main entrance. We're going through like the back entrance which is why we're suddenly seeing all the tourists coming towards us rather than away from us. So this is like the secret back, back way through. Oh, 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 I'm being chased by donkeys. Oh, bloody hell. They got taken out and they ended up down there. That one's on the loose, man. Yeah, he was literally running down the hill. Anyway, as I was saying, so yes, we've come through like the back, the back way which is much quieter. Obviously, there was, as you saw this morning, there was no one around. We haven't even had a ticket checked or anything like that. I don't like his little sales bitch. It makes it sound so cool. Come on, man. It's a miserable little donkey. Yeah, it's an overworked little donkey. Uh, <laughs> wow. That is 
is cool. <laughs> wow. Oh, look at the bullet holes. This far. It gives me so much like motivation to keep going to Akaba now. It's a kind of emotional. Look at that. Wow. It doesn't disappoint, does it? It's actually amazing. Wow, wow, wow. I the, like, you see this on oh I can't even get my words. It's just out. like everything like that though, isn't it? You have a picture in your head of what it's gonna be like and then you get here. This it's just like, like slightly different but the same. Yeah, this looks like the picture but a Wait. lot grander, a lot bigger. Yeah, it's massive. You're getting teary? A little bit. You've got all the look of wonder in your eyes. Just proud of us, really. They're not kidding about the bullet holes. It's actually pocketed with them. Look at the ones with the back. On the oh, wall, yeah, yeah. I thought there was treasure buried inside it. Oh, let's not do too much of this. We're doing this day after tomorrow. Next uh, time you see us, we will be doing a full tour of Petra all the historical elements mm -hmm. so thanks again for watching family friends viewers and we'll catch you on the flip-flop bye <laughs> <laughs> like and subscribe <laughs>